Part C of Chapter 4 has to do with what's called a keep or drop decision. Here's what happens. Often, a company has several product lines, and the boss notices that one of the product lines is significantly less profitable than the other product lines. Sometimes one line is even unprofitable. And the question is, would the firm be better off keeping or dropping that unprofitable product line? Well, the decision rule in this situation is that if the contribution margin of the product is negative, then the firm should definitely consider closing that product line immediately because it means that the selling price of these units is not even covering the variable cost. So the more of these units the firm sells, the more unprofitable that line will be. That's very bad news. However, if the contribution margin is positive, the first thing that we need to think about is any avoidable costs. That is, if we stop manufacturing this product line, will any of our fixed manufacturing costs go away? In addition to that, sometimes selling and administrative costs are allocated to the firm's various product lines. So we need to think whether there are any allocated fixed costs from selling and administrative. If there are, then we need to think about whether those costs will go away or whether they will remain. Because if they remain, then they will need to be covered by the other products that we make. Altogether, if the contribution margin that we will lose by stopping the production of this product line is greater than all of the avoidable fixed costs, we should probably keep the product. Whereas, if the contribution that we would lose is smaller than the cost that we could avoid, then we should probably consider dropping the product subject to qualitative considerations. The easiest way to look at this is to try an example. This company makes three products, alpha, beta, and gamma. And the boss has noticed that gamma is not doing very well. In fact, it's operating at a loss. And the boss believes that eliminating gamma would improve the firm's overall profitability. Is the boss right? We need to do a little analysis to find out. The question here is, what's going to happen to gamma's $50,000 of allocated fixed cost. There are three possibilities. Maybe none of it goes away, maybe some of it goes away, or maybe all of it goes away. The answer to that question has a big effect on whether getting rid of gamma is a good idea or a bad idea. For example, if that $50,000 is unavoidable, that means it won't go away, then it will have to be carried by the remaining products, alpha and beta, if we eliminate the gamma line. 
if no fixed costs are eliminated, then we're giving up $40,000 in contribution margin and we're not reducing our fixed costs. Net eliminating gamma would actually reduce firm profitability by $40,000 because currently, even though gamma appears unprofitable, its sales revenue is greater than its variable cost. Because of that, it is contributing $40,000 to covering the firm's total fixed cost. And we wouldn't want to give that up. So let's look at a slightly different example. A division has $320,000 in sales and it has variable cost of $200,000 and fixed cost of $140,000. If the division is eliminated, its fixed cost would have to be carried by other divisions. So my question to you is, should the division be eliminated? Let's take a look at the solution. Contribution margin is sales minus variable costs. In this case, we have $320,000 of sales and $200,000 of variable cost. So this division is contributing $120,000 to firm profitability. Its fixed costs are $140,000, which won't be eliminated. Therefore, the firm is actually giving up $120,000 in contribution margin and getting nothing back. In the short run, they should definitely keep the division subject to qualitative considerations. For example, maybe there's some other product that we could make instead that would give us more than $120,000 of contribution margin. In that case, the firm might want to give up this product because it has something more profitable in mind.